In this video, we are looking at three important tips which will help you improve your resume within the next two hours. So please watch till the end, watch all the tips and implement them. And if you are not able to implement them, you're facing any difficulty or you want me to review your resume, just leave a comment below and subscribe to the channel and I'll help you improve your resume. Tip number one, treat your resume as an advertisement. So what does it mean? See, when you apply to any job and you put out your resume, your resume is like your advertisement. Okay. When you see an ad, just think about it. When you see an ad, whether it's on Instagram or whether it's on your TV, that ad needs to be short and crisp. If that ad stretches for too long, right, then people forget about that ad. Same happens with your resume. If you include too many details in your resume, too many irrelevant details in your resume, right? We might even have a temptation to make our resume big, to make to uh, portray as if we have a lot of achievements. But actually, that does not help. That is counterproductive. So in in your resume, what you should do, you should only include the relevant details and only those details which help you make, look good. For example, let's say in your college you did seven eight different courses, right? But out of those seven eight different courses, you scored only good marks in four of these courses. So only include those four courses in your resume, right? Don't include irrelevant details in your resume. Don't include your hobbies, right? Your hobbies might be swimming, your hobbies might be uh, listening to music or any other thing, right? If it's not relevant for your job, don't include your hobbies, okay? Trim down your resume. Your resume should only include the relevant details. A recruiter looks at a resume for only about 10 to 15 seconds at max, right? So if you are not able to catch attention in that 10 to 15 seconds, your resume will be lost forever amongst other thousands of resumes. So only include relevant details, only include those details which help you make good. So this is tip number one. You can post your resume in the comments below. If you want me to review it, uh, I will review it as well. And also you can do a review yourself and see what are all the relevant details for the job that you're applying for. Tip number two is that always customize your resume. For example, you are applying for a backend developer job, let's say uh, at some startup, right? So accordingly customize your resume. What I mean by that is that in your resume, there is limited space and coming to the first point that your resume is like your advertisement, right? So if you're applying for a backend developer job, then it does not make sense there to include any project that you might have done for machine learning or any project that you might have done for front end development, right? So don't include those irrelevant projects. Don't include irrelevant details. Customize your resume. So don't don't prepare just one resume and then shoot it off to every company, right? It should not be like this. For example, if you look at, let's say you're applying for Google right now in Google, uh, the interview process is very much specific to data structures, right? They focus a lot on problem solving. They focus a lot on data structures. So in, the, in that resume, it would be better, better to have, you know, a generic resume, which will portray your achievements in, let's say competitive coding or portray your achievements in, let's say your college courses. But if you're applying for a, let's say startup, which requires more, which has an interview process, which is more tuned towards proof of work, right? Which is asking for your portfolio or which is, which is looking at your previous projects. Now, in that case, it would make sense to include more projects and less about your college courses, right? So that way you have to think about each job that, okay, what is the requirement for this job? And accordingly, you have to prepare your resume. So this is again, really, 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 very important for preparing your resume. Tip number three. So tip number three is again, it's uh, really very important. I think I think it's the most important tip out of all the tips that I've covered, but many people don't follow it properly. So let's look at what is tip number three. Tip number three says that in your resume, always make sure that your resume is machine readable. Okay, not just human readable, it should be machine readable. What does it mean? It means that when you apply for any job, right, when you apply for any job, nobody looks at your resume, no human will be looking at your resume, at least in the initial stages, right? What happens is your resume goes to a applicant tracking system ATS. So what happens in ATS? In ATS, uh, when you send your resume, that ATS will extract keywords, right? That ATS will read your resume and try to, uh, you know, assign some score to you that, okay, how relevant are you to this job? Maybe on a scale of, let's say one to hundred. So let's say you are 60% relevant or you are 70% relevant for the job, right? And then based on that score, whosoever is the HR or whosoever is the recruiter for that job, they will get a list of top 10, top 20, top 30 resumes, right? Now, if your resume is in an improper format, it is not ATS readable, right? Even though it might include the relevant keywords, even though you might have the relevant experience, but still your resume can get rejected. Okay. So make sure that your resume is machine readable. Machine readable means that your resume is in a, you know, standard uh, word doc, or it's in a standard PDF format with no, uh, you know, extra formatting applied. So your resume should be really crisp. Okay. No fancy colors, 
even if your resume is plain black and white that still works right your resume should have proper formatting no uh, converting that resume into an image format because image is not readable i have seen few people are sending image sending resume in image format right that is completely wrong your resume should be either in a doc format or it should be in a pdf format nothing else apart from that right so make sure that your resume is machine readable so that ats can extract the right keywords and it can then assign a high relevancy score to your resume also don't forget to include the right keywords so for example like i said in point number 2 that if you are applying for a backend job then you need to have the backend related keywords right for example if the backend job advertises that they are looking for somebody who is experienced in spring boot then in that case you need to be able to add those spring and spring boot related keywords in your resume so that your resume has a high relevancy score so these are the three tips that are really 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 important for preparing your resume so please implement that and if you need any help in implementing just let me know or leave a comment below i'll also take a look at your resume and provide some tips for that thank you